This video is uh, showing a new plant design style I'm playing with as well as a test garden of sorts. So this is my front yard. This uh, is um, October 2015 and about four months earlier this was lawn where you're looking at right here. This is all lawn. I might stick a before photo in there if I can. Um, so I wanted to show some of the new plants that I'm growing and experimenting with to see their drought tolerance as well as their mm, uh, frost tolerance. So you're going to see lots of succulents. There's Echeveria, that green ground cover is Aptinia, and there's Carex, Prairie Fire there, and Yucca, and just a lot of different succulents and um, low water grasses and euphorbias and other perennials and what I'm doing is is I'm I'm a plant designer obviously so what I'm doing is is really experimenting with some of the looks as well as the maintenance and longevity and all these other things that help me decide whether I use a plant in a plant design and wanted to just kind of show an early stage of this uh, landscape so that uh, as it matures I can kind of check back in and show you update videos of what's going on so you can see some of these neat plants. One of the challenges is is I'm in California and we're in a hot inland valley but it also freezes. We get in the mid-twenties Fahrenheit a lot of uh, most winters and so I'm trying to find out which plants that are used in California and some of the milder areas can tolerate our cold. You see some aloes there as well as leucodendrons and some um, just various things. And really what I'm doing is exploring plants that are from South Africa, from the Mediterranean, and uh, obviously California and other places like that that can handle our drought, which is uh, we're 2015 right now and we're in our worst drought in history. And, but there are plants that are adapted from all over the world, South, South Africa and, and other places. And, uh, and so seeing which ones will adapt here. I've got heavy soil. Um, I'm also looking at the adaptability to wood irrigation, uh, whether it's spray or drip. I'm playing with all kinds of variables here. And, um, what we find is uh, with my client base in a typical suburban home is they do not want a really dry looking landscape. And part of what I'm trying to figure out is how to give a rich, visually interesting design, but also very low water. And um, that would be something that people would be willing to accept as a lawn replacement. And switching that in in people's minds is pretty hard. I think you can see here though that even just in a few months I've got a lot of full rich um, visually interesting things going on and this is how you know you kind of move into new territory and start to look at ways to put things together in ways that people hadn't imagined before. So that's really what this experiment's all about and honestly it makes it more fun as a plant designer. So what I'm doing here now is I'm showing you those shots again and then I'm following up like this and showing you the names of some of these plants. I felt like that was the best way to do this because I'm sure you're looking at this saying well that was a cool looking plant what was it? So I'm not going to be able to get all of them in here but there's quite a few so feel free to pause and um, write some of these down. So just so you know my criteria, a lot of the, um, we get down 20 degrees Fahrenheit is the low side of what I've researched and all of these plants that you see in this design should be able to handle down in this, the low 20s Fahrenheit. That's uh, my cold marker. And then, so here's, you know, succulent like uh, Crassula. I have this last year and it tolerated it fine, but when when you get into these colder areas that aren't coastal like you see think of california a lot then that limits a lot of the really cool plants you can use near the coast and then the grasses they're great textures they have visual interest that plays very differently than a succulent 
And um, they're also something that a lot of people like to look of all over the country. And some of, and I'm also trying to use grasses mostly that are evergreen, because again, where we are, people want as much of that as they can get. This miscanthus here, it's not evergreen, but my also my approach is is that eighty percent of my plant material I want it to be evergreen so that the year the interest is there all year. This is Grevillea peaches and cream, beautiful plant and great family uh, that's right in that range of uh, cold hardiness I talked about down in the 20s. And so um, I hope this helps, gives you some ideas and some inspiration for plants that um, do what I've been talking about here. And uh, in a few months, I'll check back in and show you how things are doing. Take care. Enjoy.